welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new here. In this week's video, I'm gonna show you four different Valentine's Montessori activities that you can do with your toddler. Oscar has enjoyed these activities so much that they are not just gonna be for Valentine's and we will continue to keep them out for the rest of the month, I would say. If you are new around here, thank you for joining me. This week's video is actually in collaboration with a lovely YouTuber called Sarah Jane Fregola. I would love for you to go and check out her channel after mine. She is actually doing four crafty Valentine's activities. So if that's something that you are also interested in, you should definitely go and check out her video. But here she is to introduce herself. Hi everyone, my name is Sarah Jane. I am mum to one little girl called Ella. She is currently 15 and a half months old and a complete whirlwind. I would love it if you come across to my channel and say hello. You will find all sorts over here from day in the life vlogs, shopping hauls, uh, cleaning videos, all different things. So if you like that kind of thing, then come and say hello. So definitely go and check out Sarah Jane's channel after you have watched this video. And also don't forget to go and check out her crochet channel, Bella Coco crochet she is a super crafty mum so I'm really looking forward to watching her video as well so without further ado let's get into these four different Valentine's Montessori activities that you can do with your toddler the first activity is a practical life activity and it is cooking. I'm going to show you how to make this super simple heart shaped pizza using only two ingredients for the base. No proving, no yeast, it is really simple. Two cups of self raising flour is all you need, dump it out onto your surface, you can use plain flour if you prefer a crispy base, and then add 200 millilitres of full fat natural yoghurt. Allow your toddler to get their hands stuck in and with any dough you just need to keep working it until you get a solid ball. Oscar absolutely loves this activity. He enjoys play-doh activity so this is the real life version. So spend a bit of time just working the dough, getting it into a ball and then when you have you just need to start shaping it. If you don't have a learning tower, which is what Oscar is standing in to be at the counter, I really suggest investing in one because it is a game changer, allowing your toddler to be at the surface safely with you. So shape your dough into a rough heart shape and then get a knife and cut it so it is a nice neat heart. And then it's time to add some toppings. So you can choose these with your toddler. I chose ones that I know Oscar likes. So we just added a passata base and then mushrooms and tomatoes. He had gone off tomatoes until this activity. So this is a great way to get your child to investigate new vegetables, get them to try it. As you can see, Oscar is here, just deciding that he was gonna eat most of the toppings. So these kind of activities really encourage children to see the preparation that goes into cooking and get them to explore the ingredients involved. So once you've added some toppings, top it with some grated cheese. You might need to support your child in making sure that they're all evenly distributed. Then I got Oscar to add some basil and this is all a real sensory experience being able to smell and touch all these ingredients and watch the cooking process in action. Then make sure it's on some baking paper and all you need to do is put it into the oven and it takes about 25 minutes on 180 degrees. Oscar absolutely loved this, as did my husband and I. Next up is another practical life activity and it is learning how to pour using a dry ingredient. So we call it dry pouring. So this is encouraging your child to learn how to pour before they start pouring liquids. To color the rice in Valentine's red, all you need to do is put some rice in a Ziploc bag and squirt in some red paint and you can even get your child to squish the bag around, let it dry and you have red rice. Oscar uh, was just learning how to pour with his right hand, but the aim is then to encourage your child to pour it back the other way as well. So you might need to help them to begin with as you can see that I was doing. And you can also allow them to use utensils to transfer the rice from one of the jugs to the other. Next activity is threading with the aim of creating a necklace. 
Threading activities help to support your child's fine motor skills, hand-eye coordination, and importantly, patience and concentration. Depending on your child's ability, you'll know them best. It will depend on what you lay out for them. So you're gonna need some form of bead, but you could have a lace, you could have a string with a wooden end like Oscar had here, or even you could have a straw or a pipe cleaner to make the activity easier. Do it for your child's level and allow them to create their own necklace or give it to a loved one. So for our final activity, we're going to work with a love padlock, as you might see in Paris on one of their bridges. So putting a key into a lock develops your child's pincer grip and also their fine motor skills. If you have an older child, you could provide a range of different keys and locks where they've got to find the right key to fit in the lock. But Oscar at 18 months old is just learning this skill. And so all three keys on this ring fit the lock. So I worked with him to support him in understanding how to maneuver the keys and get it into the lock. But over time, he began to really, really enjoy this activity and would take it off and do it all the time in different parts of the house. Thank you so much for watching this week's video. Don't forget to go over and check out Sarah Jane's channel and her crafty Valentine's ideas. And I'll see you again next week. Bye. <laughs>